Not supposed to shout. Rock fall. Never supposed to shout. Might bring the whole cave down. Not supposed to leave beginners on their own either. That's what Alex said. Serve him right if he gets stuck. I mean, he'd better not get stuck. Alex, you there! Potholes. I wish I'd never seen one. I wish I'd never come. Bit of a lark, I thought. A fortnight in the Peak District. Tramp around a bit and get a few mates to go along. It was the canoeing I came for. Never tried that and always fancied it. Canoeing, rock climbing at this outdoor pursuit centre. <laughs> Need a cool head, Jacko said. That rules you up then, done it, I said. Well, I mean, we had to go then, didn't we? The place seemed all right, first few days. Never thought I'd get lumbered like this. I only dropped a torch. I slipped, that's all. You wait up top, says the instructor. I'll fetch it, and off he goes, and that's the last I hear of him. Great. He seemed okay. A bit old. I don't know what his game is, leaving me here. Two ticks, he said. Just wait, don't panic. Maybe that's it then. Some sort of endurance test. Gordon! I'm going to crack. I'll crack him first. I bet Jacko put him up to this. Hey, Jacko! Oh, clever. <laughs> now let go. Hey, then you can do this. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Easy. What's this one? Here, lads, what's this? Ah, oh, you're not going to try and get out there, are you? Come on, Jacko. Jacko. Oh, right, don't you know what this is. Oh. You yeah. it. <laughs> Go on. Hey, hey. Go on. Oh, that's it, Jacko, mate. Billy. Mark was going to sign me up. Yeah, he's a clown. 
Oh, it's all right for some. He was born in a tree. Oh, yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, that's all right, Come on, Ron. Hey, go, go on. on. Take, oh, it, take it easy at first. Oh, oh, hey. Marvellous, Ron. Right? Oh, go on. Hey. Hey. Hey, how about that then? That, that was great, Ron. That was great. Now watch this. Hey! hey. 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 Every year we get a couple of thousands. Come on, Glenn, they bet you can't do this. Go <laughs> And a couple of accidents. You're not supposed to be here on your own, you know that. Oh, oh, it's it's just what do you lot think you're doing? Here, come on. Him, him. Here, and you put that back where you got it. Oh. You're meant to wait outside. Ah, well, we're meeting the instructor here. Yeah? Oh, there's nobody here, boy. Uh, that rope, please. Oh, all right. <laughs> Well, we're climbing Wilma Tour this afternoon. You'll be lucky. Who with? Gordon. Gordon, who's he? A tall bloke. Dark hair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ralph, he's the new fellow. He's never been up the tower. Too so right, he couldn't climb up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> you want one of the regulars for that job. Yeah. Tower's not a playground. Well, you take us then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you come down from there. Come and get me, Tom Jones. <laughs> I'll fetch Alex. I'll fetch Alex to you. Why can yeah, he get do off. this? Ah. He's out caving with Terry. Yeah, the great solo test. He'll be back. Yes, sir, Sergeant Major Buckle, sir. <laughs> hey, go on. Hey, he could take us, couldn't he? What him? Well, he was in the commando. So he says. I reckon he was only in the girl guys myself. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, he's a caretaker. He's past it. Come, let's go down the village. Yeah. Hey, what about Gordon? He's not here, not our fault, is he? Well, take an eye to walk it, Jacko. Not over the hills, boy. You come in. Bestie, talk. All right, out of there, all of you. Have the double. No, Alex, eh? Dear, oh, dear, what can have gone wrong? Poor old Terry. Must have got stuck. Here, cover up for us while we're gone, boy. OK? OK. Alex! Alex! Come on, come on, it must be, come on! Come on, by the book, then. You won't grind me down. Here we are, then. Oh. I thought you'd lost your whistle. Or forgotten the routine. Well done. That's it, then, is it? Well done, that's all. What's the matter, lad? That's great, that is. Well done. What are you shaking for? I am not shaking! Oh, come on. Get you out of here. Listen. Are you sick? I'm frozen through. Hardly feel my legs. Your legs? What do you expect? What's the routine? To build a fire? Easy, son, easy. Don't easy me. I've stood up to it, haven't I? I'm known with cold, that's all. Well, you shouldn't be. We've only been here ten minutes. Ten minutes? Listen, mate, don't mess with me. You've been gone two hours down that hole at least. Two hours. More like two minutes. Oh, yeah? What's all this, then? Another test? Oh, forget it. What do you mean, test? Now, look, boy, you're not the only one. It's always like this underground. You lose all sense of time. You think days have passed and you come up, it's half an hour. Now, look, it's your first time, so don't panic. Come on, we'll get you out of here. That was ours! 
You are coming out, Terry. You've got your watch, haven't you? Come on, Terry. I'm all right. Check your watch. You never shout underground, or have you stopped coming to these caves? It's late. You bet it's late. How late? Late when we went in. How late, I said. I went to the farmhouse to collect the key. And now you know why they lock these places up. There's a spot for amateurs. Oh, I shouldn't have gone to the farmhouse for the tea. It made us late. It was my fault. You haven't answered. Look, I went down there to look for the torch that you dropped. Understand? Ten minutes and that's all. Where is it then, Alex? Where's the torch? Couldn't find it. So I see. Well, I... That's all. I searched. I must have done. I, I searched the galleries. I searched the galleries. Galleries. For a moment, galleries. I thought we'd never get out of that cave. He seemed to be in some sort of a trance. It was weird, like a person talking in his sleep. I'd never seen anything like it. He was miles away. I looked around. I, I found it. Found what? A gallery in a sort of uh, a shaft. And what happened? I went up the shaft, and I, 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 I don't know where I... Try. I can't! There was a shaft. You said that, Alex. Try to remember. <sighs> well, boy, you look very fit. Ready for your first descent? Go on, get down there. Don't be scared. Gotten everything. The lot. Well, now, there doesn't seem to be any damage. Not to the equipment, no. No need to worry, then. I'm not worried about damage to the equipment. To the boys. They want to show off and they don't know how to use these things. That's dangerous. We all learn by taking risks, don't we? You must have gathered that in the Marines, was it? I gathered this. Training comes first. You don't take risks until you've taken some lessons. And there's always a first time for everyone. Well, where are they, these fragile plants? How should I know? You were late. You mean you simply let them go? Well, I could have fastened them to the walls, but I was short of handcuffs. What was I supposed to do? Two hours they've been waiting. They're outside, some of them. Hit yard. Kicking a tennis ball about. Typical kicking a tennis ball. Well, fetch them in, will you? Mr. Buckle, I asked you to fetch them in. Sorry, my boy. Your first descent. What do you think of it, huh? Short and sweet. Unforgettable. Well, if you say so. I do. Fascinating. <laughs> you know, you're a, a rotten liar, Terry. A pretty rotten caver, too, by the look of it. That right? Yep. Come on up. I'll give you a hand. Look, I've been potholing since I was 12 years old, boy. You know, some people just react against it. When you either like it or, or you can't take it. Look, I know all the signs. You were petrified. Scared out of me wits. All right, so you think you're tough. Look, you realize you've been having uh, hallucinations, don't you? It's a common occurrence. Oh, yeah, I dreamt it all. <laughs> Listen, boy, I'm telling you, you were petrified. Now, come on, when we went down there, you told me that I kept you waiting up here for two hours. Now, come on, that's a beauty. Go on, lad. Up there. Mine a chance there. 
Throw it round to your left. Thank you, steady. Round your head. Good lad. Afternoon, Gordon. Hello, Ron, lad. Evening, more like. I'm sorry about this afternoon. I know you're all looking forward to the climb. As always, tomorrow. Yeah, I believe Alex has something fixed up tomorrow. Put all in, dummy rescue run, all of you. Look, oh. oh. lads, I couldn't help about this afternoon. There was an accident on the road. Had to take a chap to hospital to be seen to. Oh, great. Will you get a medal, sir? Could be, smart ass. Where's your mate? I miss your double act. My mate, sir? Out with Alex. No, Ron, not Terry. Don't pretend you're all here. I can't count, you know. Oh, they're out the back. Jacko and Bestie. I didn't see him. In a rough. Playing a round of golf, sir. <laughs> to while away the time. Well, if they're not back in half an hour, they can pack their clubs and go. When they do return, tell them to come and see me. Right, sir. Uh, that's if I do see them. Well, that's all. Uh, about Terry, sir, uh, and Alex, well, don't you think someone ought to... Yes? ...go out after them or, or something, sir? Don't fret. You're as bad as Mr Buckle, you are. They can look after themselves. Oh, no. They'll be back safe and sound, OK? hard when you get out. Well, light. The first time. And the last for you, my boy. I look, don't take it so hard, Terry. It's for your own good, it is. Look, the first sign of danger is when a man starts imagining things underground. I once went down the Barrowdale pot with the fellow. He turned funny on me. <laughs> he thought he was at home in his bedroom, but the house was on fire. So he had to jump out of a second-story window to get out on a rope with a 40-foot drop to the cave floor. We nearly lost him, too. Keep talking. What's that? Sir! Hey, Terry! Terry. Hallucinations? I don't care what you say. All right. What was it? A Yeti? No. King Kong. There you are. Spot of trouble. Trouble? What do you mean, trouble? I mean, four hours. That's what I mean. Well, there's no point in hurrying. We just took our time, that's all. I wanted to find out if the boy could take it. Every year, there's one that can't. And? He can't. Doesn't matter. I'll send him on a solo trek tomorrow overland. Well, don't you think it'll do the boy good? If you say so. Only thing is, you send them out by themselves, they go off to the village and chat up the local talent. That's all they care about. Well, I can't say I blame them. I look, the boy's all right. He's very keen. Where'd you take him? Wilmadeep. The first hundred feet. To the chamber where the well comes out. How do you know about Wilmadeep? You're no local? Buckle told me. There's supposed to be a gallery. Is that right? Yes. So what's the gallery? Below the waterline. Must be. You picked the right time for it. Sorry? For the low ebb. The waterline. Connects with the mine shaft, so they say. Yes. There was a shaft. I found a shaft. Really? It came right out. I think. I came right out. Can't be right. Out? Where? Out. Yes? I'm trying. That's the way. Do. Try to remember. <sighs> it's hot in here, isn't it? <sighs> I'm absolutely clobbered. <clears throat> oh, how was your day, then? Oh, fine. Perfect. Listen, my uncle used to be in the films, and he earned 500 million pounds a week. Oh, thank you, Bill. Oh, yes, he is. Hail the 
I'm conquering Euro, lads. How was it, Wonder Boy? Do you scale a ten foot stalactite? Three <laughs> stalactite, you buffoon. We were expecting you to swim home underwater, pop up through the local sewers. What went wrong? Did you meet the hairy monster from the deep? Push off! I will. I will. You missed all the fun you did. Me and Bestie discovered the secret idol I had, Dr. Frankenstein. And it's just up the road. Ah, oh, oh, you don't. Yeah, that's a research unit, that's all. Ministry of Defence, you said yourself. That's government, that is. Research? What research? That's where they test new ways of killing people. That's what it is. Oh, oh come on. on. True. Bestie reckons it's all got to do with potholes, don't you, boy? Yeah, cos I... He says... We'll be waiting along tomorrow when all of a sudden this periscope will surface and go. Gordon, I'd like to see the two budding Tony Jacklins, whoever they may be. I can't imagine. In the instructor's common room. I trust you'll be setting an example tomorrow, first down the rope and all that sort of palaver. We'll watch you with interest, my son. You won't, you know. You don't mean to say you fainted or something. Not lose that lovely cool head of yours. You, Don't you say that. Let that lad alone until you've had a go yourself. You mean he failed? You wait. He'll tell you what it's like to wriggle down through muck and slime in the pitch dark of a pothole mm. with a hundred feet of rock between you and a breath of fresh air. Oh. Hey, Mr. Buckle, is it true there's a defence establishment near here? Jack and Bestie say they saw it this afternoon. Well, I wouldn't take their word for it. Look, if it's you two Gordon wants to see, I should get down there straight away. He's in right bed, that one. Off you go. Now! See you, lads. Farewell, cruel world. And tell Nancy I love them. Gillock! Do you mean this ministry place, there's no such thing? Oh, it's there, all right. It is? What's it for? Well, lads, you must appreciate, I'm sworn to secrecy. But when MI5 gives me the go-ahead to write my memoirs... Oh. Stroll! Look, I'm aware of that, thank you. And I'm quite capable of dealing with it this end. Hold on. In there, you two, and wait. Where? In there, and don't be cheeky. Go on. Still there? I'll have a word with the boy first thing tomorrow. See what he saw. Don't worry. And tell Granny Powell she can expect a visitor. Tomorrow.